We are back. We are on the next episode. It's, uh... Following the dramatic news from the countryside, better. Archbishop Toccarelli will protest with the French in the city for the raping being 25 ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. For the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. General Edict K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. The radio needs I to be kept on at all times these days. It can the save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. It is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street, or who are found looking out of their windows. Wow. You can't even look out your fucking window. I'm looking out my window, what up? Fuck you. You can't kill me. You can't box with God. Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You will see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. You were. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Irene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? We're about to find out. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Deep. Deep and true. There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day, even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Sounds like Mummy's a bitch. Oh, no key ring. The keys to my old room are not here. Where are they?
She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go develop this film. I have a feeling there's something horrible in that room. Oh yeah, I gotta pretend to read the paper. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces it. Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. War rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pon Heber reconquered north of Saint Lon. Many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. I've read the paper. I've read the paper. I've read the paper. I have read the paper. I've read the paper, I've read the paper, I've read the paper. I'm the paper reading motherfucker, yeah. Reading the paper, reading the paper, yeah, yeah. Reading the paper, reading the paper, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm excited about reading the paper. Uh oh, three new lenses. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Red filter for super high contrast photos. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. <laughs> no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay, ready, go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right, my voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself.
developing photos. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. Yeah, I feel like I've developed all four. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Better develop this one too. Call this photo developing simulator. This is a little bit too much in depth, in my opinion. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. On that note, we will see you in the next episode.